What's up guys, Doofus McDooface here. Just wanted to give my thoughts on the new uh, new patch, new season 23, uh, well not 23, season 2023 patch. Um, quite a few big changes. Um, of course, my POTA is, is not as good anymore, as expected. Uh, but some good changes, some eh changes. And uh, yeah, I would agree, there's some bad changes. But let's get into it. Uh, I read some of this, not all of this, so um, the season ends January 5th at 8 a.m. Okay, so one day from when I post this video, there will be a 1v1 featured event, all right, for five days. Uh, the new season patch will be live on the 6th, but that won't work for ranked, right? So ranked will be disabled as well as I know, um, for, for what, five days? So for five days, you're either playing classics, you're playing 1v1, or you're playing with your bros in uh, customs. Uh, ranked rewards are given out 7th through the 10th. There will be a soft reset. Now, I assume that just means that if your ELO was 2,600, you're probably down at 24, 2.3, nothing major. And the season is supposed to start on January 10th. All right, on January 10th, the new season begins. All right, for the 1v1 event, if you guys enjoyed that, it can be cool. There's the leaderboard. Um, two X rewards, lots of essence. You can get free cards with the essence. Uh, this year's season goals will be a pack leader. So we had the we had the water skin Nekomata. The cat, the water skin cat. This time it's going to be the pack leader of the horde skin. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty dope. Um, we have mastery. So I guess if you play a unit, it shows it off. It says, hey. So for me, like my pot would be extremely high. They have levels. I wonder how high the level goes. Unlock higher mastery levels. It's a new mastery symbol and bonus. So you get essence and then you show off a cool symbol. So I guess you can scare your opponents. You know, when you show that you're level 25 Poda and they're like, oh crap, playing Doofus McDooface with a Poda. That's not good. 50 per game, 25. Well, 25 if you're M MVP. So we actually might see people complaining about the MVP again. Plus three per equipped monument. Matching your open fighter. So you, I guess every game you just, if you're doing lock-in, you would just say, hey, let me put all of my monuments as POTA. Interesting. The Needler. All right, all right, all right. Now, I think I can show this video, can I? Is there an ad? No ad. The Needler is a Pierce. It is a Pierce range DPS. Whoop. Sort of went with the short part. So it is it is a centaur and it's ranged pretty much. It's a ranged Trinity Archer that has the Pierce Arcane and it's like a centaur, right? Or a Trinity Archer. Or both. Uh 360 Mythium, so the same cost as nothing, I guess. 360, then between a Kraken and a Seadram or a Shaman. Uh, needle spray, 128 times 3. Multiple needles can hit the same target. Uh, I've just got to be honest, it's a very high RNG unit, right? High RNG, you could full hold, or you could probably leak 150% 150, 150 if you get sent. Um, another RNG unit is the, the Shadow Dancer, the new T6 unit, which is also, you guessed it, Pierce and Arcane. Um, although some of its damage can be magic, right? Some of its damage can be magic. It is melee, um, pretty low health. DPS seems okay. I've been told it's okay. You want it with APS is what I've heard. Um, you want it with an APS. Uh, yeah, it, it creates clones. Has a 15% chance with every attack to create a clone of itself that deals 25% damage as magic damage and spawns of 25% health. Clones cannot clone themselves. So I guess you put it in the back so it's not getting touched. 
right? So you don't want it to tank at all. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of this RNG thing. The upgrade has a 20% chance to create clones. A um, bit more substantial DPS. I guess I'd need to compare that to like that of the other T6s. Um, I don't know. Like for how much I complain about RNG, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared by both uh, the new Merc and the new unit. I really don't want to lose on like pure circuit. Let's say wave 14. Really don't want to lose on 14, 120 over value, and then go into sandbox and hold with like five units left because it all comes down to like how many clones I got out. And then if this targeted my sovereign or if it targeted my doppelganger, a little bit worried about that. But that is the game, and you deal with it. You just deal with it. Dogs are getting into it. See, they they don't they're not big fans of it. Now I could be wrong. Right? I always go back to the the Sea Dragon Life Binder. I thought that was gonna be the dumbest unit ever, and it really, before all the nerfs, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. All right, just a little improvements and fixes. Anything? Da da da. Damage. Taken tracker now takes into account damage evasion. Oh, this can help for battle scars. So if you have a Yazora or a Green Devil, nice. It it will count the damage reduction. Nice. That's actually pretty important. Um. Da 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 da. Little fixes with little stuff. API stuff. If you're into like websites and cool stuff, here is the pack leader. Um, so you need to achieve two season goals. Got it. Now you can purchase the water skin Nikomata from the store. Uh, they changed the ladder point. So this really only counts for the top 100. Uh, but pretty much what was happening is top 10 players would just not play and the, they would lose no points. So once they reached the top 10, they would just leave unless they got kicked out of the top 10. Now what this is forcing is that you probably have to play seven wins. You need you need to win seven times a week to keep your rating, or at least that's what that's what it says for right now. We'll see how much uh, that works. Classic four v four. After each wave, uh, all players gain one to four hundred gold depending on the wave. Wave number squared gold. All right. Interesting. That's gonna add up a lot. Holy moly. Uh, mercenary and king upgrades give slightly reduced income. All right. Uh, the goal of these changes is to make classic queue feel a bit more casual, prevent players from falling too far behind late game, and differentiate classic from ranked. I just have to say, this f makes me feel like Sui Fiesta is going to be insanely powerful. I feel like this makes Sui Fiesta still just broken. But we'll see what happens. Um... Uh, yep. Dual building takes a little bit of a nerf. Uh, the units have to wait 8 seconds before regenerating mana. And AoE takes a baby nerf. So if you're doing like the pyro egg, it's not quite as good. I've been told that uh, by classic, people that don't like the classic because they feel the pyro egg is too powerful, they want it 45%. So this is 40%. Uh, so just interesting. Um, another king changeup. I mean, it's really hard to know how the king is going to play until you're actually in the game. There's a pretty big change, but health decreased by 35, damage increased by 100, attack speed increased by 13, uh, giant slayers decreased 24 to 20, now has tenacity, gains 1.5% damage reduction per 1% damage taken this wave, tenacity expires after the wave ends. Uh, yeah, the king is, it's hard to kill someone in one cent, is what they made. Uh, but, only uses lightning hammer now. There is no immolation. There is no immolation. This means wave 12 and wave 16, right? Wave 16, which is very, has, is very infamous for not being able to kill the, the opponents. No immolation means you can send 16 now more often. 
Theoretically. Uh, lightning hammer projectile speed doubled to better handle mass units you know, like Frogos. Yeah, I was thinking about that in Classic. Like, with all those witches in Classic, I, I think the king might be so weak. Uh, hammer damage decreased by 30%. Upgrade attack 19 to 11%. Upgrade spell is 7 to 9. Okay, so you want to attack. Upgrade spell. I, I never read this one. Down 19 to 11. Wow. So do not upgrade attack unless you really need to. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, the, the battle scars takes a buff because of the damage taken is now includes evade and damage reduction. Divine blessing takes a minor hit. This is really tiny. Uh, cat gets a eh, little bit of attack speed buff. Maybe, maybe cat is a little bit better to two stack fiesta now. That would be interesting to test. Rogue wave. Minor upgrade because it sucks. Kingpin loses health, increased damage, but now you get bonus stats per minute. Two damage becomes 15 health in one hit. So it has way less damage is what I'm getting, right? Because wouldn't it have like almost 600 damage? I was just playing a game today and I swear it had almost 600 damage. From... Wow, from 2 damage to 1 damage, but you get 15 health. So I guess it would be like 7,000 health and 380 damage, as opposed to 5,000, or well, pretty much, pretty much 5,000 health and 500 damage. Yeah, that seems like a nerf. All right, so Kingpin might have gotten worse, but once again, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, the worst unit in the game gets some upgrades. I still wouldn't use it. If you like Deep Coilers and Sea Serpents, go for it. This is Skate Guard and Har Harbinger. I'm not a massive fan. Uh, but if you enjoy them, they are getting baby buffs. Um, well, I guess not the Harbinger and Gate Guard, right? Chaos Hound no longer degenerates health. I just feel like that means don't use the gate guard harbinger, actually. Flying elite archer and trinity archer. So this is going to be interesting. Flying elite archer and trinity archer. I never would have thought about that, but it's cool, right? It's cool that they are like masks. I guess they are sort of elevated, right? They're levitating. Um, so that's cool. So the leviathan buff, buff can work with the archers. Nice. Oh, well, that'd be crazy. Fixed a bug where it sometimes mistakenly buff a summoned unit if the summoner was placed at the very front line. So I guess you place a gate up there and the chieftain would have never seen that before. A Grarl nerf. This is another one I'm not a fan of. You see so many games where people have Grarls and they keep it and you're like, what are you doing? Um. So... I'm not a big fan of this nerf, right? The nerf should go to King Klar Ocean Templar, but that's I feel like a lot of people are comfortable with the Garl, but that's fine. Uh Casket and Cage gets a baby nerf. Iron Maiden actually loses some damage. Wow. Dark Collar loses some damage. And this is this is just this is unacceptable. get through this. The Poda and Azeria taking a hit. The Arc Halo taking a hit. The Poda has less attack speed and the Azeria has reduced synergy with mana gain by 17%. So this may make it reasonable to keep, if, if you're going to do Chieftain Cheese Azeria, it might make sense to go Chieftain Cheese Poda. You lose the damage but she already has only 10 mana, right? And the Azeria has like 18 or whatever. So it takes longer for the Azeria to go off to the heal. And now loses this mana gain thing. It might be Chieftain Chi's Poda. I don't know. Going to find out. I'm going to try that very soon after this nerf. Uh, the Halo has a little higher attack speed. 
more reduced energy. They just hate mana units. Um, and Solar Flare, the stack, which was five, is down to three. <laughs> It'd be a little harder to kill the boss on wave uh, 20. All right. Wave 20, even 19, even 21, going to be harder. All right. Sand Badger and Iron Scales. I mean, they have their waves, right? They have the 7, 8, 14, 15, 20. You're, you're not really going to use them any other wave. doesn't matter what type of buff you give it. Quite a quite a uh, large uh, increase of the attack speed for Gun. I still, I don't think Gun is like a great playable one, but this is this is in a good good direction. The boars get buffs. I think boars are pretty strong, so I, I like the boars. I love some some disciple boars, some halo boars. I think that's pretty cool. Holy Avenger. The health gain per stack is reduced, same with Sovereign, but it gains mana 15% faster. So maybe Sov Butcher, Sov Avenger is, or uh, Butcher Avenger is a little bit better. Once again, need to see these things. Small increases to Millennium Doomsday, not anything you'd tell. Um, oh no! What? What the hell? Oh my, I wish I hadn't seen this one. LOD, the, the dragon doesn't gain help on kill. So now cash out LOD is a never. Do not cash out LOD. This used to be doable because your LOD would die on like wave four. I mean, not always doable, but sometimes. Your LOD would die on wave four. And then the dragon would just keep killing it. And it would hold like six units. Now it doesn't heal at all. So you can't split tank with your dragon either. Right? Because the LOD, I believe, has five range. Right? And the dragon has two range. So now you really need to protect that dragon. That is just awful. Wow, they destroyed LOD in Hades. Holy moly. Loss of damage. Loss of damage. Now procs plus 15% mana. Oh, I'm really upset about that. The uh, dragons now no longer still kills from the summoners, which means more mana and more dragons. I I think that's awful, but see what happens. Yeah, I <laughs> have people been spamming Hades LOD. I just don't see that one, but okay. Brute increased a little bit of damage. Okay. Centaur still getting nerfed. They're going to nerf it until L1 stops playing the game. Um, Ogre, a little nerf. And Kraken, damage and damage reduction decreased a little bit. All right. So my overall thoughts, I, I had it written down, but the AoE for 12 and 16 being gone, that's going to be game changer. Um, the 0 to 100, I kind of like that, right? I like the Auto King, so this is going to be great, hopefully. Um, I, I just, I, I think it might be uh, Offma, high level player, like top 10, top 15, loves the Archer. So he thinks that the Archer is completely busted now with the Leviathan buff. That'll be interesting. I dislike all these great mana units being nerfed. I mean, it's just. Heartbreaking. And then you could even add Hades and LOD in here. That sucks. Yeah. A lot, a lot of nerfs. It's it's going to be an interesting patch. Still want to see how Kingpin plays. Still want to see how Sovereign and Avenger plays. Um, yeah. Some uh, big changes this one. We'll see how the season goes. Um, a lot of people are... Not thrilled about the classic, but I mean, they haven't played it yet, so we'll see how it goes. And, uh, yeah. Interesting patch. We'll see how the new units are. I will say, there's been many times where I thought units were going to be bad. I thought patches were going to be bad. Blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. Where I thought patches were going to be bad, and then they were good. So I will say, just play it, and then make your mind, right? I've, I've made some pre-opinions 
But until I play it, which you know me, I'm going to play right 5,000 hours next year. Um, until I play it, I don't know. Good, bad, awful, right? So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, what are your thoughts about the Trinity Archer Merc and the Centaur T6, pretty much? Yeah. A lot of RNG, and um, we'll see how it goes. Catch you guys next time. This has been Patch. What What is the patch even called? Patch 2023. <laughs> see you guys.